Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Stargate Timekeepers. This is Season 1, Episode 4, or Mission 4, entitled Crossfire. This sees us planted right in the middle of some sort of civil war, and our scrappy SG team has to get out alive. After saving the newborns from the ceremony of fire, the Hactyl Resistance continues its guerrilla struggle against Moloch. When some of their warriors are captured, they fear the discovery of their group and its sanctuary. Stargate Command joins the Resistance on their mission to free the prisoners from their holding cells in Moloch's domain. As the operation begins, a battle breaks out around them. With their comrades cut off by multiple enemy lines, Eva McCain and Max Bolton must once again work together to save the operation. Currently on Stargate Timekeepers. The infants are safe. We are ready to depart. They took our sisters. This is unprecedented. How can we justify numbers like that? This mission is crucial, sir. We've got to free these prisoners. If Moloch makes them speak, he will find Hakdil. This is McCain. Moving in on the targets. Over. Break, break! Incoming bandits! Call warriors. This isn't Moloch. They're attacking the target. Abort! Move to the rally point! Unable. We're surrounded. They've opened fire! Bolton, report in! Atta, come in! Do you read me? Repeat, all units, this is Colonel McCain. Do you read me? Over. Colonel McCain, this is Major Bolton. I'll read you Lima Charlie. Over. Bolton, what's your status? Over. I'm on the ground. We fell when the cliff collapsed. I saw. Are you with Ata? Yeah, I can see her. She looks unconscious. Okay. Yeah, I can see both of you. We should take Ata somewhere safe. There are hostiles throughout the area. We need to regroup and head to the closest rally point. Is that the cave? Correct. She'll be safer there. What about the other units? Have you heard anything? Nothing yet. We can assess the situation at the rally point. If another unit needs our help, we can find our way to their location. Let's move. So here we go for mission four, Stargate Timekeepers, all cool stuff. Our first thing we have sure to do thing. is rescue Atar. <laughs> now, tar. we've got two people, we've got Max she's and we've got Eva. Up, being a bit of a love interest going on. We've just stunned uh, that steady. armored Any warrior injuries? right there, well, that pearl warrior. See. And while he's uh, she dazzled, stable, dazed, bemused, we've just moved to the other side okay, of that rock. Let's get he's her to none shelter. the wiser, typically. What's happened there is that Atar was hidden behind some wreckage anyway. We'll we've moved people all out of um, line of sight. And as you can see, that boulder is very nicely blocking that Jafar's line of sight there as well. So we should be able to sneak past without the other warrior seeing us. If we're so inclined, I think we can do that quite easily. Okay, here we go. Now, with Max carrying Atar, he can't crouch or anything like that, so typically he can be seen, so cover is really important. What we're going to do, using Roger. our crouch mode, is come and take out those other Jafar, using stealth as much as we possibly can, so that Max and Atar can get through this Got one it. particular area. The other Kull Armoured Warrior, that's not an option. We're going to use our trusty stun grenade, I think, if we can get a good line of sight so we can throw it. Right on it. Can't use any of the other disruptors. There we go. go. There goes. Stun grenade. All we're going to do here is tie them up. No one's going to come down here and look. There's no point wasting time in moving them anywhere. Right, Oscar okay, Mike. we've got Max. We're going to get to the corner of that cliff face. And think about how on earth 
we're going to take out the other Jafar who are looking directly, directly at that one particular area. The good news of this is, is that we can probably do that just with Colonel Eva. Now the Jafar warriors are keeping, keeping watch. But we're going to go and take them out. Roger. Right, so we are going to crouch and get over to that one particular corner. Let's move. Hey. We're going to put a tar down so we can use Max. We'll come back for her in a minute. He's crouching, so he'll get round to that cliff face. Hopefully, get a decent line of Let's sight try something and else. throw another stun grenade out. Now, this is story mode. You have unlimited grenades, unlimited bullets. A little bit like cheating, but to be fair, you get to experience the story. This game is exceptionally hard. No problem. Right, they're all stunned. We can get over there, tie them up, and subdue them. I don't think anything else is going to come down this way, but there are drones right on, on this level. So just in case, this is my first playthrough, what we're going to do is we're just going to dump them round the corner. Now you're talking. And then we're going to go back for a tar. Go ahead. Got it. Shoot. Here we go. Roger. Let's move. Right on it. Got an idea? Right, so now we've stashed the bodies, it's time to get on our merry way and move on through and take out some of the other Jafar that are on their way. Now, this level is utterly vast. And if you it? have a good look around, you can th see things like Stargates uh, and what have you. There's the model for the Stargate. All cool stuff. You've got pipes with that lovely Naquida glow on them. Roving Jafar. Right, so... We picked up our people. We've moved the bodies. Time to get cracking. So we've got a downed go old glider and we've got a help. We'll go. Do we know what's going on there? Here? Who's gonna give us an I idea of the new skill right set we can use in this battle. level? Now the Jafar who are having a sort so. of civil war it has to be. up above. I don't think an invader would want us on the same not battlefield. Pay any attention to uh, us, yeah, so don't pay any attention to them. So. Just be concerned of what's happening on the level where you are. Now this is all about recon drones. This is new in episode four. And here's the thing. These are a right pain, but they follow a set programmed path and it's quite easy to negotiate around them. But drones are a thing and you can't lure them, you can't distract them, and you can't blind them. Energy weapons, yes. We'll come on to that a little bit later. So typically what I'm going to do is hide from the drone as it goes around on its set path. You can see it's cone. Affirmative. We're going to get behind that hunting? rock. Yeah, so right. It turns around and then it sweeps, it stays around. Fall. So we're going to yeah, make sure we can move quite quickly and dynamically. I hope Atana's all right. I think she will be. We just need to get her safe. Using Let's the move. terrain as a blocker. Here we go. As it comes back round, down towards those those two rocks, we can move up. around and upwards. Oscar Mike. At least this is how I did it anyway. Right on it. And then we're off we're past that well, yeah, it's facing the wrong way. So no Good job. And on to the next section. The More Jafar. drones. And they're here fighting Moloch. Now the secondary drones we have here could be a little bit more tricky. Different path. But when you look at it and Take a look at the path of the drone. It's quite simple to work out, though you are going to have to move slightly. 
and be a bit nimble. So here he comes. As soon as he turns around, we're going to follow him back up and hide behind that rock. Right, we're off. He's about to turn around. Here we go. Two, one, right, we're going. Roger. We're going to follow him. Not too close, not sure too thing. far. Let's move. We're going to hide by the rock on the left, because the cone, we know, does not scan that area. Right on it. Right, and we're off, and we're past. Dead easy. Oscar Mike. Tricky when you don't know how. Here. Who knows how many you could say, well, I didn't know that, but this now I do. Is a Into this bush for we a little bit of cover. Was gonna happen. We're supposed to be prepared for contingencies like this. Now here we're going to use a now method got casualties, that lost ships, Max has, and no progress which is on to the attract Maybe Jafar things and will turn around towards yeah. you. A little we bit still of have whistling. to try. Right, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to pop a tar down, and we're going to work on attracting the Jafar directly to us. By using the Max Whistle ability, He'll whistle. It'll attract everybody in the in the radius. People will come over. We'll give them a thing. good paste in. Hide him in a bush. People will be none the wiser. So here he is. There's the whistle. Yes. Someone comes across. Here we go. Ah. Lob a stun grenade. Somebody else comes over. I did try firing machine guns, but that wasn't going to happen. But I think another stun grenade might work. As soon as somebody else comes over, we can get three here. Zap. Now, if we're cunning enough, we can sort this out. Now, I did track the attention of the other Jafar. Roger. Got it. Need right, something? He's, even though Let's these go. people are bound on the floor, he can't see them. And we're going to use a good old sniper shot and just take that Charlie out. Pion. Deader. Brown bread. No what, problem. what he's going to be. Done. Fire. Dead. And we can move straight through and we're into the cave. And that's what it's all about. That way then, Atar Ajafar can Let's get the move. medical help she needs. And then it's Bolton? on to the next part of the I mission. Because when you think Bald. you're through this, oh, this, this game isn't oh. so bad. Does he lead the it throws though? even it's more possible. challenges at you. Anubis is gone, and There's an armor Jafar just them. down there, but They're he can't weapons. see us, even though we're going to get into our base, our little medical facility. Right. No, maybe way. this other lord is in league with Bo. We'll go via the bush, right on it. just in case. Here we go. And here ensues a cutscene. All right, let's go and bring our other guys back here. Yes, ma'am. As they say. A minute spent saving an old airman's a month saved training their replacement. Who says that? Ah, Parker, the old general. I really hope that's a misquotation. We'll go. So as it mentions, it's all now time to go and get SG team members. Now, there's two in this particular area, and this can be quite tricky. We've got a drone just out of screenshot. Affirmative. We've got patrolling Jafar and overlapping Jafar lines of sight. We're going to have to remain hidden. And use all the team members that we have. You can see there's our SG team member injured, lying behind that bit of, which looks like to be gold, shuttle wreckage. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get a grenade on the go, pop a grenade over the wall, that's going to zap them, and we're going to move. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. He's not looking, so we're going to we're gonna have to remain crouched. We'll wait for him to move on his five-second journey now. We'll back over to that piece of wreckage, and then we'll pop 
a grenade over and use Max to go and take him out. So, Eva's going to throw the grenade. Pow, this is tactical mode. Press T on the keyboard. That's going to take him out. Easy. And then we'll use yep. Max to get over. And this is a good way of linking up all your movements. A great thing in this sort of game. It's you to sort of like plan your movements out there. When you're ready, press go. execute. They've been zapped. Sure thing. He can pacify them. We can rotate the camera if you can't see that one particular Jafar. Oscar Mike. And then we can move over to the top bit of wreckage that is glowing, pulsating. Let's go. As it were. We can knock that down, and that's how we're gonna rescue those SG team members. Now you're talking. Nice and easy. And we'll be out of the view of that drone down there or any of the Jafar that are knocking about. So we're gonna push that down. Just by moving over it and putting the, the shift, the hand icon. That will fall over and we're through. No problem. Let's pick him up. Here we go. Then we can click directly on the cave, get him back to the medical cave. And we can use Colonel Eva then to go and get the other fella. Sure thing. Nice and easy. And that's the rescue mission, effectively. Let's move. As long as we're crouched, no one's going to get us. Now, moving on through this part of the game is quite simple Excuse just me? to creep past. You're not going to get seen, and you're going to pick up the wounded SG member. Get them Roger. back to the cave. That's then going to unlock another part of this particular mission. Just when you think you're done and you've right done all your objectives, more objectives keep popping in. And this goes a completely different way, this story, than what I thought it was going to go. The stories are great. They're quintessential Stargate SG-1 stories. Obviously, without the SG-1, it's another SG team. It's got not it. all SG-1, you know. Have we got enough supplies? Hey! Stop right there! Drop your weapon! No sudden moves! What the hell? Should he be handling that thing? He's our drone operator, Dr. Derek Harper. Ah, only the cream of the crop in your team. You all right there, Trooper? Oh, did I? You're safe, Harper. What happened to you? I was... Wait, we... We must save her! Save who? Where? We need to hurry! She's in danger! I think he might be delirious. Quit it, Max. Harper, slow down. Can you lead us to her? Yes, yes, this way. I think Harper here needs to see a medic. We need to help everyone we can while there's still time. Lead the way, Harper. All right, let's see where this takes us. So now we've got a new protagonist, Derek. Derek's a bit of a tech. He's our doctor and resident SG science head, and he controls a plethora of drones. So what he can do is, is when confronted by drones like this that we saw just south where of we uh, rescued the other SG members, 
he can capture them, he can distract them, he can waylay them, he can hack them. So a really powerful and important character. Combat-wise, useless. As useless as a wet sandwich. You're not going to want it. But for the tech, hacking consoles and all the rest of it and stunning people, it's a more subtler use than a stun grenade. Maybe something else? Really is quite good. So again, we're playing through in story mode. Sometimes though, it's not about the technology solution. It's about just sneaking past and making sure you're not seen. And that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to sneak in past. I'm on my way. When the, the view swishes this way, we're going to zoom that way. And we're going to get down to a point where of we course. can see the other Jafar just on the other side. Now, what I didn't know right here was that I could have sent that drone down to disable all those Jafar. All I had to do was click number three to hack the drone and I could have just sent it on its merry way. But I was still learning the game and I didn't know that. But I'll demonstrate that a little bit later on in this video. But we can do it the traditional way and just lob a grenade over and then give him a good beating, tie him up. The drone's not gonna see him. Everyone's gonna be a winner. And that rock is covering yes. the view quite nicely. Okay then, so here we are. We've got uh, we've got Derek across. Now we've got to get to the other two Welcome. protagonists, Max and Eva across. Wait till he swishes, and then we're just going to scoot past, no problem, without being detected. Here we go. It's going to swish, and we're going to swoosh right out Oscar of the way. All right, great stuff. He nearly saw us, but we got past it. So like I said, I could have used the drone and driven the drone over, stood it right next to him, blown it up, and that would have been great. So that's something that you may want to do in the future. At the moment, however, I, I didn't know about that, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, lob a grenade over or do something like that, and away we go. Yes. So there she is. There's the old stun grenade. If we move, we can actually get a grenade out. Of course, we've got to have line of sight. There's no point doing anything else like the cartridges or anything else like that. We're just going to have to do something a bit funky. One thing I did notice with Derek is that some of the drone aspect of things have only got a certain area and quite a small area as well, uh, which is quite interesting. This drone, for example, makes a sound. Actually, it goes like fuffed, that sort of thing, and distracts people. No good, really, over here, because they're just going to look that way, and no good for me. You activate the drone by clicking on it. Well, I can see why Job you're so done. Obsessed with They've drones. locked. Nobody I'm else has played the blindest bit of interest. So that method would work. There you go. We can hit everybody. We just throw the stun grenade over there. Lob it over. They're all zapped. We've seen this a hundred times in this game already. Got an idea? Everyone can get over and do some tying up of Jafar who have fallen. And once they're all tied up, we can get on our merry way and down towards our next challenge. Nothing much left in this area. Worthwhile rotating the, the camera, however, and hiding behind a rock. In the next section, there's four or five Jafar there, hey, uh, um, and a good vantage point as well. Now I am going to use know where she is. from Derek, and I send a drone all right, over all right. and get those two we'll get Jafar officers, and then I'm going to use good old sniping methods and a stun I'm method as well, just to get rid of them and to get on to the next phase, because it's the easiest way of doing it. I suppose really in this game, once you get three characters like this, then you can start to use all their abilities and chain them together to your advantage and use tactical mode to do something like that as well which is certainly going to help and then once you've got all your your moves in tactical mode you can then carry on carry them out and just watch your cunning plan unfold so we're yes. going to hide behind that rock where that question mark is nice and easy There we go. What do you need? 
Let's move. Let's access the help. Derek can use a shock drone to stun enemies. Press 2, then left mouse button to deploy the drone. Or you can use the menu at the bottom with the mouse. And to record a drone if you want to by clicking the cancel icon or come straight back. So, Derek, it's all on you. We can get a drone out and it'll hover there. And no one will pay the blindest bit of attention to it. Something a bit strange. And the shock drone will shock both drones. To fire troopers. Got it there. Which means I've then got to take out the other one. Sometimes it's just good enough to go loud with the machine gun and use conventional weapons. It's not always all about stealth. So everyone's tied up. Fantastic. We're going to go and get the other guys. I mean, they're brown bread dead. So they're not going to wake up anytime soon. Now you're talking. Yes. We could just dump them out the way just for completeness. And then once we've done that, we can move on our merry way. And there's a handy bush there as well to dump your bodies in. And we've been doing that all the way through this campaign. We've been dumping bodies in bushes. We've been throwing them off ravines. And whatever. This next section is going to have a few drones in it as well. And we're going to get into the habit of controlling a drone, hacking a drone as well seen anything so like it's quite them. simple this next handiwork. side of things well, but I mean you know everything's simple when you know how but I put these ones together. right let's move our cool. protagonist into the next Mind section if I try them out uh maybe later hmm you don't share your toys next huh? to this area now here you can see we've got a couple of bushes and a couple of Jafar as well and a drone this is the drone I'm talking about quite simple to let's get go. past this um, there's right on one it. really good place you can be. Make sure you're crouched to avoid Oscar Mike. the drone's gaze, or its scans, and the Jafar's scans as well. And it's all about timing. As this Jafar comes down on his five second stint, wait for him to turn around and move up. Once you move up and the drone's not no looking, you can go and hide yourself in a bush. And the bush you want is the one right next to that question. Wait for the Jafar to come down. Then you leave this for five seconds. And you can follow him back up and get on with things. Right, he's off. We're moving. Here we go. When you first play this, it's all about the caution. Roger. And what I found as well right, was that we'll do. sometimes it pays not to be too cautious. Affirmative. So it's there if you want. As that drone comes over, you want him right up into the top corner of this little sort of alcove. Or cul de sac of rocks. And then with that, what we can do is we can hack the drone. Of course. Now, the healer hijacker. You can use it to heal other people as well, so if any of your characters are taking a couple of side swipes, side hits, you can use this drone to heal people, not just hack them. So it's good if you've had a couple of run-ins runs in with Jafar, you don't want to restart the game and all that sort of thing, you can just heal people up. So it's really handy to have. And as it says here, you can do an explosive attack as well. So we're going to go and wait for that drone to come over and then we're going to send it off on its merry way to attack some Jafar. Of course, they won't suspect it until it effectively blows up in their face. So, here we go. That's the hack. We're going to have to get Derek right up in the corner so when the drone's there, he can do something. You see it's not turned white. That symbol has got to turn white. Now it should do. And we've missed it, we'll wait for him to come back. It's not long to wait though, but you can see that little symbol where it's red turned white. When it turns white, you can hack that drone. Right, here we go. Here he comes, we're right in the corner, it's turned white, boom. We've got the option to hack it. Now it's not hacked yet. I'll try. We've like planted the hack. To activate the hack, 
you guessed it, you can click on the icon and then send it on its merry way. Now, you may want it to go as far as you possibly can, depending on where you want it to go. We'll just park it right by this unsuspecting Jafar. Boom. He's down. Cool. Now, that leaves us with this Jafar over here to do. That's going to be pretty much straightforward. Here come the rest and to Got see it. what's going on. That was in their line of sight. As they all come down, we can just Let's move. drop a nice grenade on them. There you go. He's down. Got Someone it. else is going to come over now, which means I'm going to have to drop another grenade on them. But I'm in story mode. It doesn't really matter. Here they come. They're going to come and investigate. We'll go. He's alerted, but there's nobody left, to be perfectly honest with you. So, I've made a bit of a mistake here, but it's not going to make the blindest bit of difference. We're just going to zap him, tie him up, and right on him it. there. Because no one's going to come down here, and we're nearly at the rescue point for Derek's rescue mission. Negative. No problem. Plenty of bushes to yes. hide him. Affirmative. She's just up here. One Jafar left. I hope we're not too late. Don't worry, Doc. They need to take him out. This. He's not too I heavily so. armored. We should be able to get him with a Roger. sniper shot or even just get Eva up. To effectively just take him out. And then it's off into the next section of the game, which we've got by here, which is, again, a little bit of a challenge, but nothing too difficult. That's where we've got to get. Here's our Jafar. Nothing else knocking around. Good. Right. Eva's in position in the bush. We'll go. You can see his cone of sight vision. Give him a hit. <coughs> Bang. He's down. Right on it. Tie him up. And then we can move on to the rescue point. And that's Derek's rescue mission. Part of this mission. Here we go. Right. We can get out of our bush and up to the rescue point. I'm on my way. Go ahead. There she is! She's completely unharmed. Thriving, even. So resilient. Wait. Did we just save a plant? Yes. Isn't she remarkable? Well, there's another daring rescue from my biography. Harper, how could this possibly be worth risking our lives to save? I think this species is undocumented, ma'am. This could be our only chance to acquire a specimen. I can't believe... Do you really think that's a valid justification? Is it... not? <sighs> okay. We don't have time for this. We've got to try and salvage this operation. So, what's next? We need to enter the facility and release the prisoners. Harper will open the cells. Gonna steal the keys, Doc? That won't be necessary. I've got what I need to hack into their system. Once we find a terminal, of course. Once we've done that, we need to get everyone to the extraction point and get off this planet. Harper, that rescue was unacceptable. You misled us and put our lives in danger. This is a serious breach. I didn't mislead you, Colonel. You did. We thought we were aiding a person in danger. You said we must save her. Yeah, you're right. That was misleading. I'm not certain this is a female. It may not even be a Daisha species. I was rash to make that identification. That's not... Okay. We'll come back to this later. Let's move. Right, we've rescued the plant, sure thing. we've disabled all the Jafar in that part of the area into a more Jafar futuristic industrial part of the game. This is effectively phase four of Crossfire, Stargate Timekeeper's mission number four. Um, 
We're gonna crouch and move in. We're gonna I have sure to use everybody's ability to get us here as well. This, this is quite lengthy. You call it, Each one of these missions tends to run for up 50 minutes to an hour, which oh, coincidentally great. is about how yeah, long the SG-1 nice TV series episodes ran for. So that's a really good time as well, I think, um, to play a game. It is quite lengthy. Every time you think you got through an objective, it gives you another one. So this objective is to free the prisoners. Now again, we've got a couple of Jafar with overlapping lines of sight. So we're going to have to get people and use a distractor drone so they look the other way while we can move around uh, and get past them. It's not always about blowing things up, throwing grenades. Sometimes just sneaking past is good enough. We don't need to destroy everybody in this game. So, we can see where they're looking. We can't get past because those two Jafar are looking right straight past that other officer. We've got one just up the way, so we can't use any bullets. So we have to get past those boxes, get Derek close enough, use a distraction, and then sneak past as they're looking the Will other do. way. Right, here we go. We're still not close enough. But it's Derek is the one we want. Distractor. There you go. We can put them there so they turn around. And then we can sneaky beaky. As quiet as sly foxes. Sneak past them. Got it. Here we go. Right. So we're behind the boxes. They can't see us. We're going to trigger the drone. Of course. Right they are it. distracted. And we're past. Easy peasy. That's all there is to it. They're none the wiser. And we're past. Got to be careful that one Jafar. On the right hand side. Try. I was hoping a lot of these guys would be out there fighting. Uh, someone's got to hold the fort. Even if we open the cells, we'll need to get the prisoners past the guards. There might be something in the control system we can use. I can look once I have access. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few overlapping sight lines here. If we crouch, they won't be able to see us. That guy over there, however, he needs to be taken down. And pretty quick. So we're going to get Derek's drone out. Hover him over that Jafar by those crates. Trigger the drone. Shock him. Get an SG team member over Welcome. there. That'll take him out. Everyone will be a winner. Then once he's taken out... We can move on. Right, there's two have been taken out there now, right? So we should be able to get over there Got and it. tie him up without being detected. Then we can hide. Now, it's not worked out particularly fantastic for us, but I think we can also... Welcome. ...stun him again when he's... Like, he doesn't think anything's wrong. Off he goes in his merry way. He'll come over. Fortunately, he'll be... in the vague section of that other Jafar's sightline. Here he comes. Hmm. Here we are. That knocks him out. Roger. We'll tie him up. And it's the other one we can take out then. No problem. Move them over, because they're all crouched up. Eva's taken those two out. Nothing suspicious, nothing to see Can I here. Help? Don't think that one's quite going to do it, to be perfectly honest. But we can move right up to the edge of his sight line as well. That's the strange thing about it. This is 
is a very heavy drone usage mission. And using a distraction drone, he'll look one way and we've got to sneak just past I'm his line way. of sight. So I think that's quite the good way of doing it. We're just on the edge. No one can see us. Over to Derek. Distractor drone. Over to one side so he can't see anybody. We've also got a shock drone that didn't actually go off. Got it. He's distracted. Right it. We can move Derek and the others over to one Here we side. Go. Nice and easy. No problems there. Now, this guy, he's going to be a bit of a problem. But not so much. You know, we're already past the peripheral vision of the other Jaffa. So you can see where he's looking. We can sneak right up there. Use another drone. Take him out. Grenade. Whatever. It makes no difference to us. We can take him out. So we're going to have to move a little bit closer. Um, keeping crouched down so we can then try. get another drone out. Now, no one's going to see us there. We're crouched. We're hidden. There goes the shock drone. Let's move a more combat oriented soldier over. Trigger the drone. He's zapped. We tie him up. No one can see him. Good stuff. Sure good thing. bit of distraction and also a good bit of... Of course. Electric shock treatment. So, as this seems to be the drone mission, it's all on Derek. So we can use a drone. That Jafar who's strolling about, when he strolls about, is going to come right close to the other two. Perfect for I'm a drone listening. strike. We can have a drone hovering there. We can electrocute them both. No one's going to make the blindest bit of difference. Uh, and we can move on. So, here we go. Here comes the Jafar. Let's get the drone over there. Set the drone off. Trigger the drone. What is it? Put our people into position. Now, if you don't want a drone to go off, or you want to record right a drone, it. you can press cancel when controlling Derek. Here comes our boy. Move him over. Zap. Pow. Everyone zapped. No one's played the blindest bit of notice. Tie them all up and we can walk straight on by. They're absorbed in what they're doing with that one piece of machinery. We could let that off if we wanted to. No problem. There's absolutely no need. We can just walk straight past them. Everyone's tied up. Let's move. Here we go. Will do. So here we are, we're strolling on by, and we're coming up to our first console that we can manipulate as Let's Derek. Move. Derek can hack into everything. He's quite the handy thing to do, just obviously not with a machine gun. Um, there's a crane. That drops on top of that Jafar. We're going to let a grenade off. Right on it. We're going to tie all these people up. The furthest one away first, so we can move away as Welcome. that other Jafar is coming up the causeway. Right on it. And now we can hide. Because he's going to get his Let's in a rethink minute. this. Right, here he comes. We can take him out. Let's try something else. We could take him out with any energy-based weapon, because he's armoured. <laughs> There you go. Really? Got it. I made a mistake and had a bit of damage. Nothing I can't handle though. I can disable him and then tie him up. Oscar Mike. I can move the rest of the team up. I'm ready. They won't get detected. Now, because Eva is on one health. I can use one of I'll these try. drones to help her out. So there's the healer drone. So we're going to select Eva with the healer drone. And then once we've done that, we're going to select her. And then once we've Will selected do. her, we're going to activate the drone. 
It'll go green around her, and she'll get full health. Got it. Fantastic, isn't it? All good stuff. Right, we're coming up to the complex now, where the SG teams are being held. Roger. So there's two Jafar, one that we can see, and one just under the lip of the building, which if you haven't rotated the map, you're not going to see. Affirmative. This can be quite easily done. You guessed it. It can be done with sure grenades. It can be done with snipers. Way. It can be done with anything. We're going to get a drone out. Because no one can see us. We're going to send a drone over. That's going to zap the armor Jafar. Once he's zapped, we're going to snipe the other guy. He's going to be brown bread dead. Job done. So there's the sniping. We're going to go into tactical mode. We're going to snipe that fella. Pion, like that. And then we can use a flashbang, for example. Just take him out, it might be easier and quicker. Execute. Max stands up, shoots him, and then the grenade goes off. We disable the guy on the floor, move people around just in case anyone comes Let's looking, move. but they're not going to come looking. We would have seen them looking by now. Drop people off, and we're into the final section of Let's this go. particular mission. 46 minutes in, and this is how long it's taken. In fact, to record this, it took double the amount of time Oscar as well, Mike. trialing error and finding the right way of how to do things. Right, okay, here we are, about to go in. Everyone's been um, tied right up. We can hide by here. Cup of Jafar, all the SG teams are in laser cages. So a few we can take out straight away. Lots of places where we can hide. Now the idea is, is to get in here, manipulate the console. That will raise an alarm. All the Jafar will run off. We can open the gates, and we can get to our extraction point. Dead simple. That's all there is to it. All about timing, and all about using the right mission person for the right job. Hello. Yes. So we're going to move people up. As it stands, the Jafar that's just round the corner is quite, well, stupidly placed from a guard point of view, but it's good for us because no one's looking directly at him. No one's got clear client line of sight. So we can use a shock drone. It's our new favourite toy, really. We all want a shock drone now for Christmas. On that armoured Jafar. Here we go. As soon as he goes past, yes. we're going to trigger it. it. We're going to move Eva into the area. We're going to disable him. We're going to tie him up. job then. Pick him up and we're way out the way. Easy peasy. Now the jailbreak really begins. Negative. Right, so that Jafar has been moved. We've moved Max up. You can't we're going to make serious. sure we're all crouched. Eva's not crouched. She can be seen, so we're going to make sure we crouch her. That could have gone horribly wrong. Another Jafar to take out, so and we can sneak past them to where the control centre is in the top left-hand side of the screen. Right, here we go. Here comes the Jafar walking around. If we're cunning, we could potentially take two people out. Right on it. We don't need Me? to take out everybody. I don't get it. So that's one shot. person down. He's coming over there to inspect what's going on. We've got another drone there just in case. Zap, we'll he's do. down. Right, we can get over there, tie him up. Best use that combat person just in case. Got it. Now we can sneak past the other officers. Os officers. Jafar officers because they can't Excuse see us. Me? All we got to do, do is see me? who's coming down the corridor. They can't see us. 
As long as we're crouched, we're okay. Now, we could take other people out, but that's just gonna exasperate the problem. Of course. It's a necessary risk. There's the guy. He's gonna turn around. He's coming over. We can zap him if you want to. He's zapped. We can tie him up. Just makes our life a little bit easier. Right, tied up. Let's move the team into the next section. Got an idea? I'm ready. This is where we're going to get to the control panel. There's a Jafar yes. there. He's easy enough to take out. Over to the control panel, and here's the set scene sequence at the end of the mission. job today after everything that happened you helped save the mission oh uh, it was nothing colonel but if you mislead me again like you did today there'll be hell to pay it won't happen again ma'am <laughs> 